They don't know where they're at. They don't know. Um, sometimes they don't even know what their name is. He just collapsed and he's having trouble breathing and he's nauseated. Can you please send help right away? The movement of information is critical to taking care of that patient and uh, we're very in, in tune with the changing technology. It's very important for us to try to collaborate and make the documentation flow through everybody's care. It basically can take out mistakes and speed up their care and that in over time will save lives. During the whole process, you've got to have a team that really works together. And the more you practice, the more comfortable they get with the whole process. The exercise today, it was great to see that we had a small rural independent critical access hospital working with two of the largest health systems in the state. And they are all working to improve patient outcomes and improve care for residents of the Midwest. So it's wonderful to see that. Practice is really important to what we do. Being able to just practice doing scenarios is a big aspect of what we do. And discussing, this is what we anticipate, here's what I anticipate doing. If this doesn't work, then we go to plan B. So we're anticipating taking care, just to make it smoother and more efficient. We practice with our equipment, so there's no equipment issues, and we can only get better with continued practice and um, be better efficient. And when you can slow this whole process down and take it step by step, and then you go back and analyze each step of the process with a cardiac patient, break it down to minute steps, and then we go back and analyze that process, and we actually time ourselves. But when somebody's heart is damaged and there's a blockage, the quicker you can get them to cath lab and get that blockage open, it saves their heart and saves their life. That's what this is all about, so we can improve patient care not only in our facility, but as they're transferred to another facility. This is a late 50s male. Very proud to support partnering with these organizations in exercises such as these because they help us determine where to make our future investments to ultimately save more lives. I have a pulse. I have a pulse. I have a pulse.